I don't think he's going to be in awe of Lance Lewis' reputation. Interestingly enough, back uh, in August of 88, he fought Proud Kilimanjaro and lost to him on a count-out in uh, 11 rounds. Proud Kilimanjaro should have been a Lennox Lewis opponent not so very long ago, but uh, controversially refused to reveal the results of an AIDS test, and so Kilimanjaro sloped off back to Africa. We have not seen him since. Let's take a look at Lennox Lewis now. And the music... Now, this is Lennox Lewis's own personal theme song. It's called I'm on a Mission. Lennox wrote it himself with Smiley Culture. And if you all like it, and if you want to hear it, and rush into your record shops and say, I want to buy I'm on a Mission by Lennox Lewis with Smiley Culture, well, tough because it's not out anywhere yet. But if enough people ask for it, then I'm told that it will be released. Time alone will tell. I'm also told Lennox Lewis is going to get into the ring miming his song, but I believe that. I want to see it, to be honest. How can you mime a song with a mouthful of gum shield? Not an easy task. I think Lennox is waiting for his musical cue. Lennox is a cool character by all accounts, and it wouldn't surprise me if he's counting down the band. <laughs> the applause tells you that the man is ready. He's on orchestra. Frank Maloney in the glasses, his manager leading him in, trainer John Davenport, and, well, a perfect record. Eight fights, eight wins, seven stoppages. Enjoying slight weight advantage, three pounds, but when you're talking about men of 16 stone plus, three pounds is really neither here nor there. The Union flag, the Maple Leaf flag, Got girls dressed as Mounties, girls dressed as Beef Eaters. We've got everything, and we've got Lennox Lewis. All adds to the atmosphere. Commonwealth gold medalist. And already becoming a very, very popular figure in British rings. Big men, very big. And Lennox Lewis just gathering his concentration. He's a couple of big boys. And Simuelu can punch. We saw Lennox Lewis up against Noel Corliss. Corliss caught him with a corker of a right hander in the first round. Lewis hardly blinked, but there's going to be another test of his chin tonight, I feel, Jim. Got a lot of holding back anxiety about Lennox, but he's an Olympic champion. And now that Mike Tyson's off the scene, the world title could be a lot nearer to him than maybe he ever won for a little while ago. You reckon he's as good as they say? He's got to be. Olympic champion, says it all. Yeah, bad fighters don't win world titles, bad fighters don't win Olympic gold medals either. Round one. Correct. But this would be a good contest for Lennox. It'd be interesting to see how he shakes up because Mike's a strong man, very strong. And being African, he'll have plenty of guts. A real warrior, like they all are. Good Ryan. Well, he caught Lewis with a shouting right hander. And Lewis just, for a split second, the knees just twitched, but still there. Doesn't want to take too many of those though. Oh, and a left hook has Simuelu down, and the African won't want to take too many of them. That's Roy Francis over. picks up the count at five. The count is at eight, and that's it. That's all over. 
a boomerang of a punch. Simuela, I think, felt that he had beaten the count, but the count was taking place no more than a yard from where Jim McDonnell and I are sitting ringside, and absolutely no doubt that the African did not make that count. Very impressive. Lennox has already shook him up, Dave, just before that, as you said, with a big right hand, and the combination of finishing was a big right hand followed by a jolting left hook. That was world class. And the official time, 58 seconds. No wonder Lennox Lewis smiles. He salutes our commentary position. A nod to Jim. The photographers gathering to take the photographs that you'll see on the back pages of your Sunday newspapers tomorrow. Very impressive. He just gets better and better and better. Let's take a look, Jim, at that knockdown again. What a good left-hander. And say Mike was already shook from a big right hand just earlier in that round. But that right hand, and there's the left hook. Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> and he's down. And that weren't rehearsed. Brilliant shot. Well, he'll be back in action at the Royal Albert Hall on May the 9th against an American opponent, Will Lennox Lewis. And Frank Maloney just wants to keep him busy, work him up. And I don't doubt that we'll see him fighting for some sort of title at the end of 1990. Might be worth going out buying that record. Yeah. Let's give the record another plug. I'm on a mission with Smiley Culture. I think that'll sell quite well. After that explosive action, we're going to take another short pause. Don't go too far away. We'll be right back with you here ringside at the Albert Hall. <laughs> 